What's up, everybody? I'm just going to start this video off. I say, welcome home, baby. What's up, everybody? I'm just going to go ahead and, as the title says, and talk about Philly. You know what I mean? Philly Will. Welcome home, baby. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that know me from this YouTube stuff, even when I was when this was an aquatic channel, now this is a sports channel, a lot of my subscribers left, but we ain't worried about none of that. We The, the ship going on, and the ship still is moving. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Me and the boy, we come from the same stopping grounds. Anybody that knows me personally or know me from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, this. Like I said, I'm from North Philadelphia, 26 in Lehigh. I went to Simon Grass High School. You know what I mean? I used to play ball up there at Strawberry Mansion. I used to hang out down in the Badlands, Eighth and Burks. They called it the Eighth and Iraq at the time because it was a war zone. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool with a couple of his cousins. Not just one. I'm cool with a couple of his cousins. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're from the neighborhood and you somebody, you know what I mean? You know, you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm older than him, so obviously we didn't really hang out. I just I just knew, you know what I mean? I knew of him. He knew of me. I'm cool with his cousins. And I was running the, I was running the neighborhoods. Like I was always, if you if anybody saw me, they saw me with the dogs. That's why my channel used to be called The Dog Man. Because that's what I was known for in the hood. Anytime somebody saw me, I always had my little killers with me. That's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? So he used to be like, X, what up? <laughs> Yo, that's some funny shit. But back, but back to the Will Parks, man. You know what I'm saying? The boy, he gonna bring the energy. He got that Philly swag, man. Being from this, being from the city, he already knows how we get down. He knows what we expect. Like he knows. So I feel like this is a real good thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said on in the other group, I mean in the other group, the other video, like players turn down higher contracts to play where they want to play. That's what he did. He had better offers. He didn't have to come to Philly, but he wanted to come home. So that's another thing that I, that's another thing I really, I really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? The boys like he, he come down here. He's willing to lay the wood. You know what I'm saying? He, he gonna come down there and hit somebody. You know what I mean? Like he, he'll do it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't like the, he ain't no Cam Chancellor, but he's not afraid to go down there and hit somebody. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I think he got good ball skills. You know what I mean? It's going. He's an intelligent player, man. And he's and he got energy. Like I said, I keep going to that energy because this dude is like, this dude, he's he's an energetic cat, man. Real talking. But that's always that's all like for real, for real. Like when he talk about that stuff in the videos, that's for real. That's for real. Like this little, like this dude when we was young boys. Like I thought this dude needed some medicine to calm down. Like this dude, <laughs> like that's real. Like when you say that, whenever he has interviews, like I like I saw the interview with he. That's real talk, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man. Um, another thing I want to talk about is who's gonna play opposite of of a uh, Darius Slay. A lot of people talking about it. They're oh, we still need to, we still need to bring like. Don't get me wrong. It, it'll be nice to bring in somebody else. You can never have too many corners. But I'm gonna I'm gonna speak on this guy because I didn't hear nobody talking about him. Not on no other YouTube channel. All I'm hearing when they talk about our corners are Sidney Jones and Rasul Douglas. The, unf the, the forgotten man that nobody's talking about is Trevor Williams. You know what I'm saying? We signed him at the end of the year, like, at the end of the season last year. And in 2017, this dude was one of the top corners, man. At least top 10. That's a, that's a fact. Top 10, man. He was playing opposite of Casey Howard. So he was getting most of the targets. And this dude was playing lights out, man. I'm telling you. He got he got he got he he got the starting position because of an injury, but when he stepped, but next man up, and he he stepped up and he showed out. In 2017, wasn't that long ago, and he's still young. He's like 25, 26. You know what I mean? So he could he would he, if if everything goes well, we can have him locked in for for quite a few years. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse that. <laughs> Shit! Did y'all see that? I'm about to sneeze face just now. <laughs> Don't worry, ain't no corona. But uh yeah. I think that we might got something with, with already in the stables that nobody like that that's going 
shat that's getting shadowed right now. You know what I mean? Like I said, 2017, high quality season for the ball. 2018, he got hurt. And then he got released with an injury settlement. 2019, he was uh he was on another team. I can't remember who it was at this the name right now. But uh I'm kinda I haven't really looked it up since when we signed him. You know what I'm saying? As far as that team that he was on, why he would why we got him. I already knew the player because he went against us on our Super Bowl year when he was shutting down uh Tory Smith. I was like, man, that like he was running with, with Tory. And you all know Tory Smith was speedster. This kid was running set stride for stride with him, so he got speed. Like, so I remember that. It was a touchdown pass, almost a touchdown pass, but he broke that shit up. Um, and I was like, damn, who that? <laughs> so that's how it all went. That was our Super Bowl season. Um, so like I said, when uh, when we signed him last year, I went to go find out, like, damn, how we get him? And I found out. I just can't remember with the team. But they released him because they had already set up the corners that they were going with. You know what I mean? So he was a, a totally free agent. You know what I mean? And we got him. We picked him up. I wish we picked him up a little earlier last season than we did, but it is what it is. Um, Like I said, man, the dude can ball. You know what I'm saying? He, he kind of reminds me of Jalen Mills um, in the swag sense, the, the swagger that he plays with, um, the the willingness to come down and hit somebody. You know what I mean? Like, like Jalen Mills is a, is a solid tackler. You know what I mean? He comes down like he's one of our good tacklers. Could ask that safety that's in Jalen knows. But this dude is a for a cornerback, this dude is pretty solid with tackling. Good, good ball skills. Uh he plays with a better technique than Jalen Mills, that's for sure. You know what I mean? So I feel like we gotta step up there and he's and he's faster. So I don't now catch up speed wise, we I, I mean we're gonna we're gonna we gonna see. We're gonna see. Like I said, it all depends. We going we gotta see how he came back from the injury. So it's all up in the air right now. But since I'm the same. I got a feeling that he can beat out Sidney Jones. And I feel like Sidney Jones is better playing in the nickel or or as a rotational corner. Because at the, end of, at the end of last season, he came off the bench and was made some key stops for us. And, I, you know what I mean? And since he has that injury issue right now, I feel like he need, he can learn from Darius Slay of, of you know what I mean, of, of certain things, certain technique things, right? And he's still young. And... When when he shows shows that his body can handle the situation, he can come in and be a solid starter. I still feel like that number one, that number one, probably not number one. I do, I, even though I feel like he was the number one corner that year. But that first round tag that was on him, I feel like it's still in there. He just hasn't had a really good chance of showing him with these injuries he's had. So, like I said, I don't really want us to get rid of Sydney. Now, Rasul, I know he's up on the trade and all that, but I really feel like he should. We should have had tried him at safety. You know what I mean? I, I, but I'm not against them trading, you know, trading the ball. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, another position that is not, that's not being talked about though, as a position of need, is quietly not being spoken of at all. Nobody's mentioning it. I just, I, I literally just posted about it on Facebook earlier today. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody's repeating the same questions. Like it's like oh, the the Julius the uh, Julio Jones we called him Julius the Julio Jones trade or who gonna be the, like who gonna be the Darius Slay and nobody once again that question goes up millions of times and nobody had ever mentioned Trevor, so I'm I'm doing it. Um, who who should who should we draft? It's all and it's like man, somebody just asked that yesterday. You're asking the same thing like stuff like that. So what I'm saying is a position of need in that. I feel like nobody's mentioning. I'm gonna say this: is the center. We don't have a solid backup center. Jason Kelsey is the man. We love him in my house. Like that's the guy. That's the dude. Like, but the center position is just as important as the quarterback to me, because you got to be able to read defenses, pick up cover, uh, pick up coverages. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Now. I feel like we need to address it. I mean, I'm not saying we got to address it this season, but he's not getting no younger. It wouldn't hurt to. You know what I'm saying? Now, if we picked up a center in the second round, I would not be totally against it, especially if it's one of those top corners. I mean, top centers that's going to – it's going to be like three – it's going to be like three or four centers that are going to slide into the second round because of the way the draft board is going to be. And, you know what I mean? So, there's going to be some solid guys. Like, I, I, I like Harris. You know what I mean? So if he's there and we picked him up, I would not be upset. You know what I mean? Um, 
anything else? Oh, nah, nothing, nothing really. Uh, I think that's it, man. I got some, got some things I'm gonna, I need to do. Take obviously that's why I'm in the car, so I figured I'd hurry up and shoot this video. I'm already, it's already going on ten minutes. Damn. All right, y'all, y'all enjoy your day. I gotta make a run. I holla at y'all. Peace. I got energy. I have. I like to think that I have unmatched energy. That's one thing. Why I describe myself? I think I have unmatched energy, and I got it from being from growing up and being raised in Philadelphia. I got it from being raised right here. I've been the same way as a kid as I am now. Anybody can vouch for that. Anybody who knows me knows that I love my people and I love where I come from.